Greetings Summoners, Invader Sive here. Welcome to another episode of League of Legends Point of View. Yes. Today we'll be playing in the newest champion over the public beta environment, Asir. And as always, my rules and masteries will be in the description of this video. Join me Here we go, Team Comp is Syra and Vayne Bot. We got Lee Sen Jungle, Jasuo Mid, and myself Loyalty as Asir Top. And our enemies are Corky and Lulu Bot. We got Elise Jungle. Sadly, I think it's gonna be a mirror match. Uh, uh, Jasuo Mid and Asir Top as well for them. So it's gonna be crazy. I shoot. Anyways, uh, yes, I'm playing the newest champion. I already made a, a mid lane video of this guy, but I decided to take him top because, I mean, uh, why not? This is a guy who could definitely be played in the top lane. And the overall theme of this champion, if you didn't know, is he is a summoner of sorts. And when he summons, he actually, uh, his abilities interact with them, especially, specifically the, his Q and his E. And the amount of damage uh, that you can do eventually, it's just incredible. Uh, so yeah, he ha he's a pretty awesome champion, uh, unique mechanics, excellent scaling, he scales in many different ways guys, and the first thing you should know is his passive. Now this passive is the first thing that makes you go like, huh, this champion may need a little bit of different builds. Uh, you gain additional attack speed for every point of cool deduction that you have. So getting 40% cool deduction on this guy is really really good, it, it, it's double dipping into the, the stats. Definitely a good idea to get that 40% cool deduction. And there are di many different ways to get that 40% cool deduction. I decided to go for 3 cooldown, cooldown reduction per level quints, which gives you 15% cool deduction at level uh, at level 18. And I get 5% from my mastery, so that's 20% from only that. And you only need to purchase one 20% cool deduction item, which I so far I think, in my opinion, and what I like so far is building in themes. I don't mean Athenes and the Nashers too. And one of your uh, the options you can do is build a an Athenes. Oh, he won mid actually. We got two mids apparently. That's kind of weird. Oh, they're probably uh, fighting for who gets mid, I guess. That's weird. Uh, oh, that's gonna give me a chance to say the entrance stuff. <laughs> um, so yeah, building Nashers tooth works well. You gain a ton of attack speed and 20% cool deduction as well. So the reason why this is so important is because you're your sand soldiers which is your W and the, the, the ability that allows you to be so freaking awesome it scales with attack speed so you, can, you saw me there put the two of my sand soldiers down and they they actually attack with your own auto attack so whenever you put down a sand soldier and you start attacking a, champ, a champion or anything even if you're not in, in that exact uh, in, in range of that champion or, or your target in general will be able to do damage to them. There you go, like right there. Now the, the Sand Soldiers have a lot of interesting mechanics to them. The first thing you should know is they are melee range, but their melee range actually pierces opponents, so it's able to... There you go. It pierces opponents and you're able to actually uh, hit multiple targets with it, which is really awesome. Got him. <laughs> I couldn't let him be go back. I mean, come on. Uh, so yeah, they do magical damage and they scale with your own attack speed because it's your own cool, uh, your own attack speed that they in the rate in which they attack. Uh, they also are you able to spawn multiple multiple uh, sand soldiers and with enough cool reduction you can have like up to four of those. Uh, I believe that's around what you can get reliably, and that's a ton of damage, guys. A ton of damage. You start off actually pretty weak. But as you start getting items and you start getting levels, you become an extremely powerful force to wreck. <clears throat> so yeah, start getting those those items. Uh, actually, we're going back right now. Actually, I'm gonna. St uh, no, I'm gonna stay if I can get enough for uh, for our uh, catalyst. Now you cannot target the sand soldiers. They'll live their full duration and then eventually they will fade out. And they do fade out faster if they're close to a turret. And you actually probably saw that you know, one of the sand soldiers that I placed down close to a turret had an exclamation point on top of him. That means that particular sand soldier is getting uh, it will despawn way faster. Uh, actually, at, at twice the rate as the... Oh no! Forget that one. My bad. 
twice the rate as he normally would. Uh, let's see. They you also have another mechanic about the sand soldiers in which it's an ammo type system. Uh, it, the ammo type system is also on cool cooldown, so cooldown reduction will affect this. That means more sand soldiers uh, sooner. Basically, that's that's pretty much pretty much it, which is pretty pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, I think I got it. What a mana he do? I don't think we can do much. He has no flash. I think I got him. Yep, I'm free. You can kill him here. Come on. Hey, you got it. You got it. I believe in you. Oh, the heal. One more Q, dude. One more Q. That's all you need. You need a one Q. <laughs> what are you doing? Ah, oh, you missed the Q. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> oh, you got it. <laughs> so good. So good. Anyway, so I kind of get distracted here. Uh, yeah, an ammo type system, and addition to this, if you target an enemy turret, you're able to, to, to do straight up damage to them. And the damage is pretty significant and also scales with ability power, so eventually you're able to take down turrets really, really fast when you, once you get uh, your items going. So there's a lot of things you need to know about the sand soldiers because this is your main mechanic. Now your Q, which is the ability I'm maxing first, oh, and one other really important thing, their damage uh, their base damage scales with your level. It doesn't require you to necessarily put ability points into it. So you can leave this at level 1 and still be really relevant throughout the game. And allows you to max something else like your Q. Now your Q is an excellent repositioning tool because it moves the sand soldiers around. And they do uh, damage as they travel. And they also slow down enemies. And the travel distance is really significant. You can, you can probably move a uh, sand soldier from, from the range of the limits of the tether to the other side of the range of the ability. So that's a lot of travel distance guys, a lot. Which is an extremely fun thing to have. Like so, you can put like one down here, and another one like here, and then you move it, and then you kill him. Or try to kill him. But you can see the travel distance is a lot. A lot of travel distance, love it. <clears throat> Uh, as they travel, they will slow the target for one second, which is, I mean, it's its its there. It's not really significant, uh, a, a really big source of crowd control. However, having crowd control is just good. <laughs> Icing on the cake, I guess. They can put it that way. This guy probably left right now, uh, because he was going to get destroyed by me. Let's just work on pushing the turret, making him miss the cannon minion. Those who follow me. And I'm going to use my sand soldier directly in the turret there. There you go. That's a ton of damage. He's way too close now. He has this exclamation point on top of him. So I am maxing the, the Q because it's just important to be able to reposition them. Otherwise, enemies could just move around and you will lose a ton of your, of your power. Let's go back now. Oop, oop, close one. Let's go to the brush. So yeah, maxing this first. Uh, this has a really interesting uh, mechanic with your with your shield, which is well, actually with your E, which I'll talk about in a minute. Let me see if I can uh, surprise this guy. Like so. There it is, a ton of damage. Lovely. So your E is the ability I'm going to max second. This is another source of damage and it allows you to have mobility because you can travel to a, a place down sand soldier. Now this ability is so good, it has so much utility to it. For example, one thing you can do is uh, if you're pushing a lane, you can put a sand soldier down. You can do your push, and then if you get ganked, you can just go back, and you're safe. I mean, the travel distance from this is really good, which brings me to the first synergy you have between your abilities. Uh, you can push a sand soldier, and then the sand so you can then travel to that sand soldier. So you can put it down. Uh, there you go. I'm winning this trade. I'm going for the kill. Maybe I can get him. So you can put down a sand soldier. I'm going to show you that, that combo. Let me just get my cooldowns back. So you can put a sand soldier down, you throw, you throw them around with your Q, and then you can travel to that sand soldier. So you can move a, a, a large distance. Or you can just freely move whatever to whatever is around you. Okay, let me just do a little bit more damage. And I'll show you the combo right now. So let me put it down. Q, you use your E, and you can travel like half, uh, twice the range. You would usually be able to just place it down the sand soldier. 
really good mechanic. Now, the E itself, uh, as you travel, you will hit enemies and they will, you will knock them up in the air. However, if they are, uh, if they are champions, you will actually stop. You will stop and you will, you will hit them and you will gain a shield that scales with your ma uh, bonus health. So that's an incredibly powerful ability to have. Uh, another source of scaling here, the guy here. Another great source of scaling. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm building Rod of Ages as well, to have a little bit extra tankiness and much stronger shields. And, and just overall, it, it's fun uh, building this guy a, a little bit on the Brewster side of things. So far, I found that even in the middle lane, that works really well. Because two of your abilities require you to be really close to. Maximize the potential. You really need to have. Uh, you need to be close enough. My to put down your sand soldiers, and let's reposition, of course. And if you ba manage to fight and get in there and fight people, uh, you will require tanking is not to die instantly because of your shield. The shield, the damage from the from your E, I mean, will definitely Power put you. If you want to do damage with it, it will put you in a bad position. That's what I'm trying to tell. <laughs> say here. This guy is really squishy right now. I can probably... There you go. I can tank his sand soldiers and just decimate him. Let's see if we can get a kill. I almost got my ultimate again. So that's pretty much it for the for the E. Now the next ability is your ultimate. Your ultimate! Holy moly, I love it. Uh, it's actually... It does a couple of things as well. First of all, it's a source of damage. But it's really close range. So you need to be right in the middle of everything. Oh, good one. Got him. Oh, he's moving around as well. Good job. Oh, this is warded. Oh, I'm dead. Actually, yeah, I'm dead. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, <laughs> sad face. I got a little bit. I got a little bit too cocky there, but it's all good. Uh, let's keep working on uh, this game. I think I'm gonna need the route of ages first instead of finishing the Nashers tooth. I'm gonna go for the tanky route. Get him, dude. He has no wards here. Come on, you got this. There you go. So good, so good. Kick him, kick him! No, you didn't kick him. What happened? Go, Jasuo, go! Ah! <laughs> so good. Bit one. We are made. Ah, I didn't even get an assist. Let's push the lane. Let's try and end the game as soon as we can. Look at the travel distance from them. Holy moly. Okay, okay. I was talking about the ultimate. Sorry. So the ultimate, uh, you push enemies back. You deal damage to them. It's a pretty short range on it. So that also, you either use it to peel. Or you use it to... Uh, oh, you're I can tank this a little bit for you. Never mind, not anymore. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't go in there. It. What am I doing? Uh, <laughs> that was horrible. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I was like, should I go in? No, should not. And I died. Oh, you're, you might die here. Never mind. Everyone's horrible with the skill shots today. <clears throat> now, uh, uh, also, uh, after you do the damage, it lays down a wall which uh, enemy champions cannot pass. And they can not, they can't even dash over it, so the the wall will actually block them. Shurima's it's pretty awesome for Sony uh, Sony opponents or crapping opponents in a place where you can do a ton of damage with your sand soldiers. And additional to this, your allies can pass, and they can pass. Uh, they can pass, and they'll gain additional speed if you injure yourself, which is an extremely important part of, uh, of the gameplay. Also good, also good. Ah, uh, I'm I'm away. Maybe we can we can get a couple of kills here. Believe in our uh, future. Currently, I believe this is bugged. The wall, when you place it down, your sand soldiers are doing a crazy the amount of damage. So, uh, if you see like me instantly destroying people, it's because of this. Get her. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, fight me, fight me. There you go, I got one. Oh, should have kept fighting there. Whatever. Oh, and I made a mistake. I put an extra point to the sand soldier. That's not good. Not good, don't do that. Let's get the Rod of Ages now. No more of that. Let's play smart. Or so I say. <laughs> um, yeah. That's pretty much the kit. I mean, uh, if you want 
uh, even more explanation, me rambling. You can see the mid lane video I made of him. That was actually me rambling quite a bit about, about, about what he can do and all that stuff. But it's pretty much what I, I said here. I mean, the champion is... is the kid is actually confusing when you re read it, like in the end. When you read it like a web page or, or whatever, re his release or whatever. But actually playing him, he's not that uh, hard to understand. I mean, one thing spawns, one thing moves, and the other one moves you, and the wall pushes people back. That's that's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward in that regard. And I like that. I like that that he, he feels like a he, he is a complex champion because he has so many things to consider. But at the same time, he is pretty sim is simple enough. I mean, that's League of Legends, you know. He is sky. Uh, he's high skill cap, no doubt. Definitely high skill uh, cap champion. And those are fun. Okay. Oh, that's. Let's fight. I want to fight you. Oh, there we go. Oh, they want that one to spawn. Oh, I didn't have my shield up. I need to stop doing that. I'm, oops, sorry about that. That was music, apparently. Oh, that was nice. I'm fine. What are you doing? Should have ran. Anyways, meanwhile, the team is taking freaking turrets, so it's okay. Oh, the Lulu wants to kill. Get her. One more attack. No, you failed! Ah, oh, man. Nice try. We walk a path of radiance. <laughs> nice try. Get it, though. There you go. That's a kill for you. Maybe another one. A good heal. Oh, the main mechanics! Oh, no, you were so close! You should have been there to help. All you needed was to throw one combo. One combo. I love that this guy can actually uh, play different ways, like com complete no AP and disregard everything I said and just go like complete AP and try and burst people down that way. None know the but I mean you have to play his strength at floor, so building at least some attack speed on him is... Go, 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 get him, get him. We got him. Fine, I'm not getting attacked by a turret. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna run here. Oh, actually, no. That's fine. Nope, let's go. <laughs> I got three people on my tail. We're fine. Should I be risking this? Sure, whatever. Oh, the ch chasing potential. Why am I getting slowed? What happened? Oh, I hope you. Oh, you got her! Nice! Die, Lulu, die! I hate you at the mid lane, I hate you at every lane. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty fun champion. Hopefully, um, hopefully he'll fix all the bugs. Or maybe uh, that's the way he he's meant to be played. Being extremely OP. Okay, let's take the turrets. Oh, I didn't actually spawn any turrets for you guys. Let me, let me do that right now. Second part of your passive. Did I talk about the second part of your passive? I don't think I did. Did I? Basically, you're able to respawn a turret. So you go like this. Yeah, I'm gonna respawn. You click on the turret, it will respawn, and it will function exactly as a turret, a normal turret. Uh, the only difference is it will it will start taking damage. It will, it will start despawning by itself. It will only last one minute. This guy. Oh, I got him. I got him. There we go. I got my wall. I don't need you. Please it on me. On me. Ah <laughs> oh, man, uh, I did tell you guys this is a PV. I mean, crazy stuff happens here. It doesn't really matter. I mean, freaking PV. I can see uh, people making great plays with this guy. Like extremely powerful plays. That will wow people. Like like when Jesuo came out, and up to this day, there when people make awesome Jesuo plays, they're like, oh. And apparently, yeah. Well now we let's try and finish the game now. What the hell's the other Jesuo? Yeah, 
that. This is what happens. People start losing, they are okay and stuff. That's not why we're here. We're here to discuss top lane Asir. He, he pretty much is the same as mid lane. That's just we hope we'll put an extra emphasis on getting a little bit tanky depending on the opponent. Oh, you got your man. Stop killing my. Yes, okay. Here. I don't care about your ignite. This. So yeah, pretty much they give up. Let's push for the win. Oh, that's a really nice, really nice stunning. Okay, get close. Oh, that will kill. Ah, stop killing me, turret. Oh, I can't keep tanking you, This, This is the only thing you actually need to be worried about. Uh, you need to know where your sands on your stars and all that stuff sometimes. So you kinda get lost sometimes. Holy moly, you are pretty strong. I got her! No, couldn't get her! Ah, that was an execution. Who cares? Get a level 2 boots. And apparently Crystal Scepter does work on him, on these hand soldiers. Oh, nice. Splash. Oh, nice. Throw your plants down. Oh, we got a teleport in there. Maybe we got a kill. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Oh, this guy's going down. One more attack. Oh. Q right here. Right here. Yeah, it's good. Oh, never mind. You got it. Ooh. Excellent job. How long has Jesuo been out? That's, that's that sucks. I don't think I don't think long. Get over, go, go, go. Get over here, Corke. You could damage it to a freaking turret. Ooh. There we go, double kill. <laughs> yep, you are pretty strong once you get your items in there. And of course, being a little bit fed. There you go. Okay, team, good job. And that's pretty much game. Good doing, guys. And Invader Sive sending out.